pressure is so atomic, my head's spinning. My best friend Dion and I are selecting our crucial first day of school ensembles, as Bronson Alcott's cutting-edge juniors were expected to set the fashion bell curve. Hello. Throw this in the as-if pile. Agree. Fire it up. Chair. I should not even be operating heavy machinery on this much diet soda. D. Consider. One minor fashion glitch can have profound repercussions on our entire year. Resume warp speed, please. I don't know, Cher. After last year's triumph over Amber, maybe we peaked. I hate to say it, but we might have to pull a Tyson. Oh, bite off Amber's ear? Ew. No, 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 no. Be disqualified for some insane repulsive act. <gasps> I got it. We'll show up tomorrow in off-the-rack smocks from the Kathy Lee collection. Oh. Cher, help me. I've hit rock bottom. Fine. I'll just call Amber and tell her you wussed. This better be way beyond Cher and Dion's combined. You people do realize that I can fire you all and get a new crew in here for my second day of school outfit. No. Let's go rev up that closet. Miss Fashion Nazi is horse meat. Who would be calling at a time like this? Hello? Hello? It's been two long, cruel, hard months without you. Can I come over? <sighs> Murray, it's bad luck for the boyfriend to see the girlfriend the night before the first day of school. And by the way, you better be looking majorly dq in the morning. D? I am a twice a month shaving, fully grown male of the species. I can certainly dress myself. Mama, do I have any clean pants? Ugh, what am I gonna do with him? Cher, Dion, it's getting late. Daddy, we're working. It's for school. Thanks to a summer of my encouragement, calorie counting, and booby trapping the refrigerator, my totally prominent attorney daddy looks like a brand new man. Cher, you need to get ready to hit the sack. And Dion, you need to head for home. You both have first day of school tomorrow. Daddy, we've been agonizing over just that point. We have to pick our fashion statements. <laughs> well, frankly, I don't see the dilemma. I mean, what is, what is wrong with this and this and this? Oh, my gosh. It, it works. works. The man is a fashion savant. <laughs> uh, Mr. Horowitz, get back here and savant something for me. From that Labor Day weekend moment, Jerry Lewis announces his final tote. We know summer's on hiatus. See you later, freedom. Goodbye, fun. Adios, waxing. Like schools nationwide, it's back to the grind. Albeit a very glamorous grind here at Bronson Alcott High, where the first day entrance scene rivals that of the Oscars. Well, at least the People's Choice Awards on a very good year. The first rule is, timing is everything. Arriving first is considered geeky, so here come the sophistically challenged, followed closely by the jocks, eager to apply the first wedgies of the new school year, which sets a nice diversion for the drama club to arrive with no harassment. Pick it up, drama geeks. Look out, lunch lady's coming through, wide load. Looks like you guys are eating what you're serving. That, of course, was our beloved gym teacher, Coach Deemer, fresh from her summer as a roadie for the Lilith Fair. Pick it up, ladies. Practice in the gym in 10 minutes. Come on. Hey, we got next. Hey, check it out. Here come Marie and Sean. Check 
it back to school at Bronson A. If you had a great summer, punctuate with the hay. Hey! All the teachers, I just gotta say, punk, when it comes to grading, give Sean an A. Hey! Cher and Dee stall so they can get the last entrance. This time, it's my turn, baby. Once more around the block. Finally, we were on deck. <sighs> we are so totally killing. Wait till they see our fifth period costume change. <laughs> Bronson Alcott hallways have that first day of school smell. That unique blend of Lysol, fresh paint, and cigarette smoke from the teacher's lounge. Ooh, I need that new boy's name and class schedule. Cher, what new boy? That's Michael Don't Wedge You My Jockey's Monaco after a summer growth spurt. Wow. Suddenly all those films in health class make sense. Check it out. Over the summer, I cut my own CD. Soon available in fine record stores worldwide, but for now, available exclusively out of my locker. And a trunk of Murray's car. You can't make it through fourth period without my CD. Come on. Sean, I'll take two. Hold up. You giving ducats to this man? You will shop anywhere. Murray, what is wrong with you? Are you jealous of your friend's talent and ambition and star quality? Well, I've got some talent of my own if you'd like to conduct a little star search. Excuse me, who do I look like? Ed McMahon? A little, from the back. Oh. Okay, check oh. that back, right there. Oh, yeah. first official fight of the year. And it started over me. I'm so honored. Oh, yeah, what would that be? Don't argue on your way to class. You can't be late for Mr. Mazak. And here, Dion! Ow! Being a junior at Bronson Alcott High means lots of exciting new experiences. But among the most legendary upside is guidance class with the fabled and highly enlightened Mr. Mazza. Oh, yeah, plus he's really, really cute. I hear Mr. Mazza never gives homework. And you get a B just for showing up. Rumor is he holds his final class in Maui. Uh, I am so tired of Maui. You've got to be Amber. For those of you who don't know me, I am the fabled and highly enlightened Mr. Mazza. Finally, a hottie after two years of bow wows. Oops, call me Klutzo. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Welcome to junior year. The year of living seriously. So, for your first assignment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you don't give homework. Says who? Just this guy I know. 
this really stupid guy I know. Look, your homework is to figure out a life plan over the next 10 years. What? 10 years? In 10 years, we'll be 27. Almost old enough to play high school kids on TV. <laughs> I want each of you to fill out a timeline with your hopes, your dreams, your goals, and take all the time you need, as long as it's in by Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> After all that time, I wasted looking forward to Mr. Mazza. This was the biggest letdown of the summer. Is calling Mr. Kenny. Agreed. Mazza wins Bummer of the Year award, but this assignment bagged. How? Exhibit one. Sean, you are so headed for rap stardom. Yeah, with me as his manager slash producer. Yeah, what did you ever manage slash produce? <laughs> well, I managed to drive your butt to school this morning, and I produced the money to make those CDs, that's what. Sean, Murray's right. You are going to be a titanic rap star, but you're gonna need Murray for um, ego reduction. What? Five grand on dinner? Where'd you go? Burger World. I bought my boys around. I got appearances to keep up. <laughs> okay, look. If you keep blowing your financial future on your loser posse, then you're gonna wind up being the artist formerly known as wealthy. Me next. I'm gonna be a doctor, right? And not just a doctor. I see you mixing your love of science and beauty. Pressure's falling fast. You'll be a surgeon, all right. A plastic surgeon. I'm gonna have to go in. Emergency facelift. Okay, littlest Hanson, I'm gonna make you look like you're 11 all over again. I can fill out my timeline with one sentence. I'm marrying Rich. Uh-uh. I see it. Amber is definitely marrying Rich. Rich, get off the couch and change that kid of yours. I've got my bunions to soak. Damn, Twister. Get up on the roof and sandbag the antenna before we lose the TV. You, you know how I get when I can't watch my stories. Share. I don't see you filling in your timeline. Please, Share has it under control, don't you? Sure. Over the next 10 years. Um. <laughs> Tick tock, princess. In the next decade, I see myself. Um... What you gonna do, Share? Come on, Share, tell us. Everybody else's future picture is so clear, and I can't even get through my opening credits. Daddy, what am I gonna do with my life over the next 10 years? Forget the next 10 years. For the next 10 minutes, how about fixing me a steak? Red meat? Daddy, you've been clean for over two months now. You're right, you're right. Well, then, make it seconds on the hickama. For the next 10 years, uh, my advice is, is to find something you're good at and make sure you can make money money at it. And, and, and what do you mean it's for homework? Well, my guidance counselor says I have to start planning these things. I mean, in two years, I'm going to be starting college, and then I'll get a job, I'll settle down, have a family. But that can't be. You're just going into high school. Not hardly. I'm two days into my junior year. But you're my little girl.
before Daddy's nostalgia attack, which Sidebar at least took his mind off stake, was that I had to conduct a serious personal skills inventory. All right, ladies, this is crab soccer. Take no prisoners. <laughs> okay, now, bend your knees, thrust your pelvises, and go! Excuse me. I demand to be allowed to use my spin class at the country club for gym credit. Deny! Kick it, Missy! That was on purpose. Take a lap. Ah. Not a crab lap, a regular lap. Whatever. Move it, move it, move it! All right, like I said, bend your knees, thrust your pelvis, and go! Yes! Daddy said I should decide what I'm good at. Dee, where do I start? Well, you always remember where the car's parked at the moment. Right. Oh, but that's only really important on Seinfeld. Oh, okay. You apply sunscreen evenly. I've never seen a VCR clock that you can't set. No one can wrap a present like you can. Oh, yeah. You can write really small. You're a virtual galleria of talents. Hit it! Shot. You tell me this shouldn't be an Olympic sport. Daddy, I did what you said, but it keeps heightening my angst. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I blame myself. What was it I told you to do again? Decide what I'm good at. Wait a minute, that's excellent advice. Sure, for you, you always knew you wanted to be a lawyer. <laughs> you think I always wanted to be a lawyer? Hello. When I was your age, I wanted to study art. You, a bohemian? Living in a garret and smelling bad? <laughs> you bet. Ah, but unfortunately, Nani and your grandpa, they rather strenuously insisted that I choose law over art, since it's more lucrative. And as you would say, <laughs> hello! <laughs> they were right. <laughs> and P.S. I bought them a condo, and now they are living off me. How totally jolting. Did he lock into a lawyerly life plan too early, never exploring his other options? Does he wake up every morning regretting the path his life took? Oh, but I'll have to agonize over Daddy's shattered dreams later. I've only got 12 hours to finalize my life plan, minus half an hour for my exfoliating mask. Wow. 12 hours sure goes fast when you have totally open pores. Let's see, as I go through these timelines, I notice that, uh... Cher Horowitz, you're the only one not accounted for. Mr. Mazza, I didn't do the assignment. I mean, I really tried, but I can't narrow my future down to one area. <laughs> oh, although I did eliminate any occupation involving hot dog tongs and diesel fumes. At our age, we need to believe that anything is possible. I.e., if Suzanne Summers' timeline had only said actress slash singer slash love poet, we may never have had a thigh master. And if Beethoven thought he was merely a Saint Bernard, we may never have discovered his acting talent. It is a huge mistake to make anyone decide that stuff now. Thank you. Uh, Cher, are you calling my homework assignment a mistake? Oh, I believe she said huge mistake. And the brown nosing begins. Go ahead, give me my F. Now you're telling me what to do? Oh, habit must break. All right, look, I'm gonna let you in on my little scam. The point of this assignment was to get you guys to start thinking more than your usual five minutes into the future, not lock into a life plan. Remember, the journey is as important as the destination. So does that mean Cher's not getting an F? Well, that would be correct, because as you may have heard, I don't give grades. <laughs> Finally, something about this dude's reputation is true. So, are we done here or what? Well, we finished 10 minutes early. So for now, forget the future, live in the moment. Go on outside and play. Right. Oh, don't forget now, playtime is prime time for my rhyme time. Don't leave school without it. Excuse me, Scruff Daddy. That CD is so first period. Uh, Amber. You're not exactly our key demographic. You're right. I have money and taste. She's kind of got a point there. 
Whatever. You up for Burger World? My treat. We are gone. D, I am willing to ink in one definite on my timeline. It'll still be number one on my speed dial. By then, I'll have a separate phone line just for you. I'll have a pager, and you will be the only one with the number. I'll be the only subscriber to COL. Share online. You have mail from D. <laughs> Tangent. What are you wearing tomorrow? Sierra, I have a present for you. Animal, mineral, or clothes? Better than all the above. It's a still life I painted for you. And all this career talk gave me the passion to pick up the brush again. Daddy, that's awesome. I know. Thanks, pumpkin. Passion smashing. Memo to Nani and Grandpa. Excellent call on the lawyer thing. Thank you for saving the world from this. <laughs>